Good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Uh, right, it works like that. All right. So thank you for being present here, and let's look forward to getting this session going. Our speaker is already here, and as you all know, we're going to have another speaker joining us shortly. So we're both covering the same topic. So I think you've got lots in store right here. So here, introducing our first speaker. He designs the blueprints for customers' lifecycle management that helps generate up to 5% more revenue than year one onwards using social platforms like WhatsApp for businesses. Curates exper experiential and conceptual campaigns that can drive 25% more footfalls in physical and digital stores to customer attention to repeat buyers. He helps design strategies that help drive 200% measurable returns on bots while identifying behavioral purchase patterns. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear a round of applause for our first speaker, Chief Evangelist for Generative AI and Consulting at Yellow Dot AI, Mr. Mugesh Soni. Oh. All of you have a brochure on your uh, tables, uh, on your chairs around you. There is a bot that you will see. This one. Can you just open your WhatsApp cameras and scan that and uh, go through the journeys that you get and select wedding? I'll have somebody send. You can just open your WhatsApp camera also, it'll start working instantly. It's programmed to give you information for a wedding collection for now. But the idea is to get you to utilize and see what AI can bring in as a change in the industry that we are in. No, so when you open the bot, it will say, I want to buy from yellow jewelry. Send yes in that when you basically get it. It will typically ask you for a question that will say, uh, who do you want your name? Given your name. The next question will be about one month of the year, which is a special month for you, with the birthday, anniversary, or any other uh, occasion that you have. Select wedding if you want to as a trial run so that you can understand what it means. You can take it back. It will work irrespective even after the session. We'll begin with the session and we'll come back to this uh, in a few seconds, if you can switch to the slides. So, I won't repeat some information that all of you know, but the objective is that, do we all believe that communication is the only form of relationship that you essentially hold? Whether it is in your family, whether it is your customer, whether it is your dealer, your retailer, your distributor, or your franchisee. And communication in today's day and age 
it goes without saying, is fastest on WhatsApp that you can essentially engage. Marketing is changing different mediums, but by default, your business screen or business accounts, like what your badge came to you today, or if you've been interacting with the association for a while, you must have seen the green tick WhatsApp business, which is there. Now, I'll break it. How many of you understand what WhatsApp for business professional is here? Can I see a raise of hands? Okay. So I'll break it down for the rest of them. There are two kinds of WhatsApp for business. There's a personal WhatsApp for business and there's an enterprise WhatsApp for business. A personal WhatsApp for business, you can set up catalog, your overall list of products. You can set up an automation to basically get the user who is engaging with your WhatsApp to see what you have. But it cannot be stored on any other ecosystem except on a WhatsApp for server. A WhatsApp for business enterprise version is where you have catalog features, you have carousal features where you can scroll left to right in the same ecosystem. You can integrate payments, you can integrate loyalty engines, or you can basically integrate any other ecosystem that you may be thinking about, which include all of this. Effectively, whether you are doing any sales and marketing or support, by default in the past, your digital mediums were websites, one telephone and a customer care, maybe your directory or your book or your account sheets that you're maintaining. The difference now is that your customer has moved on to this medium of engaging, shopping, searching, researching. And there is an app fatigue in the market. So if you go out and say, I will build an app for my business, that is going to die in the next one year, one and a half year. In fact, starting July or October this year, Inside WhatsApp, you will see a new category that will start, which will say business. And under business, like how you search for grocery stores, jewelry stores, supermarkets, you will start seeing that popping up. In addition to this, you will see a voice icon. In simpler words, what is going to happen is consumers are used to Googling information that will now change towards you going into your WhatsApp for bringing in communication, support, marketing, and re-engagement. The hyperscalers, which is basically Meta, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, are basically going to intercompete to understand where does the consumer data essentially sit. We'll come back to this a little later, but try to understand what this essentially changes. Today, for brands who have activated this business, they are seeing at, on an anywhere of 2 to 5% increase in net revenue per year who has started. Almost everybody receives about 5 to 10 to 15 WhatsApp promotions per day, correct? Typically, they don't have a button to click on. It's just an offer, like a Swiggy offer that you essentially get to say this much discount that you essentially have. Now, that is literally glorified SMS, which is what you should not do with WhatsApp for business. Because you can do that on SMS. WhatsApp a business has a communication channel. It can talk to you. To show you an example of what this means and how this is going to change, for all of you who follow tech to a little bit, you must have seen that Meta has launched AR glasses with Ray-Ban. While the Metaverse and the Appleverse and all that may continue, may not continue, but AR still will become a reality depending on the investments that are happening. But to ensure that whatever you sell to whomever you market has to sit in a catalog, has to sit in an inventory management system, your supply chain has to get connected. The digitization and the transformation of your industry has to happen if you want to survive. Because by default, your supplier, all of you buy Tata tea and red labels and all other grocery products, right? In the next one year, Everybody from Unilever to Procter & Gamble to Reckitts to your Harpic that you buy at home, your shopkeeper will put you on QR code saying, sir, if you want to order, you can order from here. His catalog, your Kirana shop, Dukandar's catalog is going to go inside WhatsApp. So why isn't for you? You don't have an option anymore in 2025 at least. 2024, you'll essentially sail through. But if you are not on those business ecosystems, the default question is like today you'll say, sir, UPI hai, QR hai, 
like that only your consumers will start asking you sir aap whatsapp pe hai and the discovery which is not possible start happening on that so effectively while some of the brands like tanish and aura etc are already there on the same every small business it does not matter whether you sell cupcakes whether you sell homemade jewelry whether you sell uh, one gram jewelry you can set up your business on whatsapp in one week's time it doesn't take you more than that because the whole ecosystem is set up in a way that you upload you get the system to understand what you're doing and you can take it forward all of you heard about the kaira and the mayras of the world by any chance so these are digital influencers instagram all of you are aware of the influencer following base that people have right by default what is the brand ambassador for your business is it you is it your son your daughter or will it be somebody else brands have to start thinking of creating a digital ambassador for your business that stays on and a digital ambassador is not your brand logo it is not your company sticker it is not your business card it is your digital presence that will sit on all channels between google instagram facebook meta and so on why don't you all do one thing just search for uh, tata play customer care on your phone on a google browser or any any browser that you have when you search for it in one of the top 3 screens you will see chat with live agent tata play customer care in your browser the second or third button you will see one green color light icon and it will say chat with live agent there anybody found it found it this is basically bots on google how many android phones in this room raise your hands please do you by any chance can predict on how many ecosystems of android do bots work rough number close to 9 from your dialer so the moment you start typing jewelry store or distributor for jewelry or the number or the name of the person who is stored in your contact book to your maps to your google integrated networks to your entire shopping ecosystems if you are there you can search for tanishk mumbai for example you will see the tanishk phoenix mall uh, popping up in your maps and you can start chatting the entire catalog for the whole tanishk ecosystem is on the product long story short like how you used to google and you get used to get a first number you will change this whole ecosystem between google whatsapp facebook instagram and so on point being that digital bots may still take their time to come in while the physical ecosystems and mr elon musk sets it all up but physical influencers combined with digital influencers are already going to go out in the market in the next at least about one year's time so when you walk into a hypermarket in the next few years in the next few months you will see a physical robot at the entry that will actually tell you sir do you want to buy millets let me take you to the aisle now you can't do that in your showroom or in your digital business but can you have a digital ambassador for your business per se see i can tell you i will create a whatsapp bot i'll create an instagram bot i'll create a google bot and all of that but how many will you create you need to figure out a way to decide and get one identity ideally in your mind to say whether it is your daughter's name your son or grandchild figure out what you want to call him or her figure out an avatar that you want to do it and there's a reason why i'm telling you all this you are remembered by a brand identity it does not matter how many catalogs how many offers how many discounts or what relationship you share with your end user whether distributor dealer or consumer if you go out and tell your consumer or your brand ambassador this is what we are creating now you can chat with my digital ambassador for whatever you need whether it is updates a custom order 
or a detailed input or the price of a product or where my order is or what options do you have, it will basically be able to answer. All of you know generative AI, I'm assuming, correct? And if have any of you tried using it uh, for your business? You should try. It is $20, approximately 2,000 rupees a month. Go sign up on OpenAI. There's something called as OpenAI Playground. Go feed in five or 10 information about your business to it. It will learn. You ask it to create an ambassador for you. It will create an ambassador for you. If you have a website or if you have a catalog, just put it in that and then search on top of it. It will start talking to you like your best sales guy or you. That is how quick it is. But you cannot keep doing it again and again, which is why you need possibly a platform or a business or an ecosystem or a vendor who can operate it for you. Or you can get in touch with your association and they will give you a suggestion of how you can automate it like how your peer has done. Typically, these are the things that you can automate on top of a digital avatar. Now, this is just a visual identity, right? Which can be anything. But it gives your brand an image. It can do all this for you. Now, you may say, why should I essentially do all this? See, the point is, if I send you a SMS, it is dead. It doesn't have a human angle to it. It is not talking to you. There is no emotion. Now, when you connect AI to a WhatsApp bot, WhatsApp bot was two years back, okay? Technically, if you don't have a WhatsApp bot till now, you're already minus three or minus four in your business transformation goals. Now you have to start thinking WhatsApp plus AI. What are you going to do? Once you feed it in, it will basically create a conversation. What are you searching for? So if some of you that tried that bot, it had some two, three leading questions. When a customer comes to you, whether it is your dealer or your distributor or your car, if you have a store, you typically start, right? Sir, kya chahiye aapko? Kiske liye chahiye? Kyun chahiye? Aur bataiye, sir, madam, chai coffee pienge kya? Now, your bot can't ask you chai coffee, but it at least can, should be able to create an emotion with you when you start talking to it. Now, that is when you change the ecosystem of where your bots sit. Now, this is the second game changer. See, I'm talking a little bit towards what you should be doing with the bot. Now, you will say, okay, I created a bot, I invested 2-3 lakh rupees, I made this whole thing. Abhi, karu kya? Your bot should be sitting on any branding medium that you have. You have a window display. You're putting a flyer in a newspaper. You're putting up a tent card somewhere else. You're basically doing a digital ad. The bot should be sitting on all these ecosystems. A newspaper ad which costs you 15, 20, 30, 10 lakh rupees is a dead ad. But with a bot on it, it can start talking back to you. That ad is not going to bring you back any numbers. It may bring you some footfalls because you have seen it contextual. But typically, if you have seen any of the Hero Motocop ads or so on in the recent days, you will see it will tell you which motorcycle do you want to choose. Or if you basically are seeing this with, let's say, something as simple as Ashirwa Data, ki aapka roti ka score kya hai? Now, those small contextual mediums get the consumer to engage with you as a brand. It could be a very small thing that you're doing. It could be in the kitty party group that you have of your closest customer to share the bot. They should start chatting back with you. It can go on any of these ecosystems, like how it's on this fire right now. Whether you're putting it up in a mall, whether you're putting it up in a store, and then if you create an avatar for that, people will start talking back to the bot. See, they will not scan a QR code. Because QR codes, you have 5,000 around you. But if you change the QR code towards a visual avatar, it changes the whole game towards the people having... Everybody has seen somebody sitting next to a McDonald's man and taking a picture. You'll have to start thinking from that mindset ecosystem per se. You have to start thinking that you cannot run your business stand alone. You need a digital colleague who will handle these ecosystems for you. This then can basically be done across any ecosystem that you want. It doesn't change too much. And this, when it is connected back to an Instagram influencer ecosystem, changes the game completely. Whether you're buying a Cadbury's chocolate today or whether you're ordering Kellogg's, the ecosystem talking to you is digital. 
you have to have a digital avatar of whatever ecosystem that you want to bring in now these are slides but then typically you are attracting your customer which is getting more db you are trying to convert them we'll show you how and then you're growing that business so i'll move forward towards how you move to the funnel right the end objective is very simple if you have a problem of less customers coming into you you'll have to figure out how you brand if your customers are not converting or not purchasing from you or somebody else there's a middle of the funnel issue that you essentially have or you have a bottom of the funnel issue per se i'll skip some of these slides we'll share this out with you so that you can understand the technicalities but the point is if you are running a store what the mother wants is not what the daughter wants the buying pattern for where and which store they walk into is getting limited to the top 30 stores in the city why does not the local jeweler get back the importance that he deserves he has been running a relationship for two generations he has a third generation the customer has a third generation how will you create that connection now those connections are created with very simple ecosystems we showed you the influencer component which is nothing but an avatar but it is possible that is one way of doing it now if you understood just this much about your customer right what do you typically do whatsapp group pe birthday pe sabko wish jata hai kisne nahi wish kiya everybody knows how many customers can you send if you need a brand recall in a customer's mind the basic thing is this much right you maintain a relationship with them but you're not going to be able to sit and send out 500 5000 500 messages every month because every month there's somebody's birthday somebody's anniversary but while you do that when there is a wedding in that family they may think of coming back to you your relationship build automation engine this is now this then goes back towards creating such insights all of you see retargeted ads on your phones right you search for something it starts popping up for you this automation on whatsapp is very much possible but you don't see the ad you get irritated and you cancel it out on whatsapp fortunately or unfortunately you will still see it it will still become spam after some time but till it becomes spam the customer is still going to view what you're doing now you don't want to send a contemporary design to the mother maybe or you want to send a traditional design to the grandma maybe can you do this manually you can't and all this is data play now this data play basically happens when you start collecting information now these are my sample copies that a bot generates you put in birthday it will give you 20 different things that you can choose just like how you go and search greeting card on whatsapp right or greeting card on google for anybody else this is what is possible on the same ecosystem as well so you can change it towards what you want to do depending on who wants what and now when you break it down towards for the top things that you are selling there are 20 top times the people buy in india your akshay trithiyas your dhanteras is your festivals your anniversaries your birthdays your valentines and maybe something else if you are a distributor or a b2b dealer your sales will also revolve around the same ecosystem maybe 2 months 3 months advance to that how do you automate this copy in the back end is what platforms like ours help you do so the other important thing is and mark my words on this that you will soon see apps dying out entirely because what call can an app do it can show you options it can help you scroll it can show you let's say if you using cred for example you have a spin the wheel or you have a 3d or you have turn things around what does let's say for example say a blue stone and a carrot lane do right it will show you one 3d view of the whole product all that is possible on whatsapp why should your customer install your app why should he not do it on the same ecosystem that you have you anyways have the image no you have built it you got a model to shoot it shoot, shoot on it and then put it out there and now when you have 10 things like these if you send one notification somebody will click somebody will like one of the ecosystems that is the advantage that this will bring back to you if you decide how to set it up and in this case the scrutiny that you do for a customer what do you want what are you looking for is possible in this case and these are broken down based on who you are targeting what you are doing and how you getting it back in 3 months time if you run one activity to say dear mr or miss or mrs customer we are here to know you better and serve you better we would look to understand the following two three things from you you will not get everybody responding back 
but in three months time you will have at least 10 different segments of data you will not send the same communication to a man what you will send to a woman as simple as that that differentiation will create more context and more footfalls for you back in the ecosystem now this is easy this is what comes to you as part of a subscription or a package it's like a calendar right you can basically break it down towards what you want and base is what you must be seeing on your phones right now uh, how many of you got that notification for your AI jewelry advisor who scanned that bot so the AI jewelry advisor is a generative AI jewelry advisor that you got you connect it to a website or a catalog you will get the entire bot talking to you as a human in whatever format that you want to ensure that it can create the relationship back with you if you have not tried it scan that generative ai there's a white a4 sheet paper on your on your on your uh, chairs there i'll show it to you as well now long story short we've just done a very basic calculation in terms of uh, what this can mean for you right if i break down these top things if you are a dweller and you're selling d to c there are 14 touch points in a year that you typically target i have taken 70 to 1000 as an average rate because let's say your wedding investment will be higher you can drop it down if you're able to convert even thousand customers from this this alone can give you an uplift of close to 100 crores 100 crores is a huge number to pick in you take 10 percent it's still 10 crores it is not free money but it is additional revenue generated for you your investment to run a whatsapp bot varies anywhere from as little as 3 lakh rupees to 30 lakh rupees depending on what you do with it all of you must have seen those nice Shah Rukh Khan videos for Cadbury's right where he talks and gives you your name you have a nice celebrity we'll create a digital avatar of hers and give it to you so it depends on how much you want to scale but your new ecosystem of sale 20% of your revenue will come from digital marketing only in 2025 you gear for it now or you start next year 